made it to almost everything we are going to tell, so we're ready. No. Uh, we want you to listen uh, very carefully to our uh, talk. Uh, that's obvious, but we also want you to listen uh, because, um, and here comes the paying attention in the part, we want you to be in variety. And why is that? We want you to respond to on our talk by tweeting while we talk. So, excuse me, you from that. That's the case. Uh, about what we look like, or uh, our content, or our music, whatever, uh, simply respond to that, what you find interesting enough, or idea worth spreading. We will try to make some parts of our speech a little less uh, interesting, boring, whatever. And we sincerely hope that those moments will uh, correspond with the moments we intend to be boring. Well, so uh, please pick up your mobile device, or your Twitter, and uh, start responding uh, on the spot. Thank you. Ben. Thank you. Um, late oh, November 2000. Late November 2011, we were asked to perform at the Open Innovation Festival. Um, the council chamber of the city of Amsterdam was our stage. And we were asked to uh, summarize the final meeting of that event uh, in a song. The Open Innovation Festival is a nationwide festival, and it's all about innovation at uh, local authorities in the Netherlands. And um, uh, social media, uh, co-creation, innovation were keywords at that festival. So when asked to uh, summarize um, the events, we thought, well, why not be innovative as well? So we did. And we asked the um, participants of the festival to help us um, write the lyrics of the uh, concluding song. Um, and uh, ask them to uh, share with us uh, ideas they uh, thought of uh, being worth sharing through social media. Uh, we expected the average um, single line of a lyric to be less than 130 uh, characters, so Twitter uh, was a useful medium. Um, well, um, and um, inserting a, a, a great hashtag in the tweets um, uh, enabled us to uh, find the tweets and find the uh, content uh, that was shared and it was also um, interesting for the participants because it enabled them to uh, see the uh, contributions of the other participants of the festival. Yeah, use TEDx Aided for this uh, thing. Um, um, most of the tweets uh, came during the, uh, the talk so we uh, wrote most of it on the spot our phone tablet. And uh, at the end, we uh, sang a concluding song, and we always do that for live. Yes. Uh, well, the audience at the opening <coughs> fashion festival was enthusiastic. I mean, really enthusiastic. Yeah. yeah. Clapped. Just and like cheered you. and shouted. It was bananas. Um, um, uh, but it made us wonder. Um, okay, um, we did something good, but uh, would it work at other events as well? So we tried uh, a couple of uh, other uh, conferences and business meetings, and it turned out to be the case. Um, it worked brilliantly. But that left us with another question. Why did it work? Well, first you, you must understand that what we do is a mix of social media, music, entertainment, and content, or actually content which we anchor through social media and entertainment. And uh, but there are three other elements we think uh, also help, and um, well, those elements should be there in every lecture or keynote. Though. And first of it, uh, we think it's well, entertaining. Uh, but we think of entertaining like music as a Trojan horse. <laughs> um, it's a yeah, it's it's a deer, not a horse. Sorry. Trojan horse. Then. Okay, <laughs> but anyway, uh, music is I think it's only funny, but the, the real thing is that uh, words set to music are much more easily remembered, so that would apply to your key message as well. And um, uh, next generation is the uh, 
thing for uh, TEDx Ada. So um, let's get the next sample. Here we go. In the live stream. So so yeah, yeah. In the live stream. You listen to us. Uh, next generation. Wow. Um, can, can I give you a course? Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. Something to do with next generation or something. Uh, music also creates atmosphere. Um, you may have noticed we played while you entered here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, um, but what if it has sounded? Uh, I don't know, it's, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What if it sounded like this? You get the point. Yeah? Okay. Okay. Um, another a key element, in our opinion, is um, education. Seems quite obvious, but education is about content. And um, well, these, talk, these conferences are all about content and sharing content. Um, the participants of a, a conference share their uh, opinions about uh, folks they find uh, important to share, and we summarize uh, uh, what they share. So we summarize the content. A little uh, uh, example, um, say um, uh, several tweets contain something like, uh, well, never thought of uh, music being a Trojan horse, and we could um, uh, sing uh, uh, something like this. Um, yeah, one, seven. And did you know that music is like a Trojan horse? And then you get a, a, a little bit of what we do. Um, and also you remember um, a key message better by explaining uh, the message to another person. Uh, far better than um, uh, just listen, uh, only listen to it. So that's, that's the education part. Yeah. The third element we call uh, empowerment. Uh, and, in, and we mean that by that you don't want to miss out on anything where you get ahead of it. And, uh, well, uh, oh, oh, I got my iPhone because we, we try to trigger that feeling by uh, using uh, tweets you write, and we notice that people are uh, really waiting at concluding some, is my tweeting there? So you listen to sure. that. Uh, Harm Adams, for instance, uh, tweeted on TEDx, in Ada of all places. So, well, he meant it different than I thought, but maybe we can explain that later. Or we use uh, Rob Weiss, of, uh, actually, as Ik Ondernemer. Uh, so Is he in the audience? Yeah, so I why uh, 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 to, to start now music and so forth and so forth. We, we, so you listen uh, better. Um, uh, another thing uh, that those are three E's education, entertainment, environment. You may have read about them on the internet as a combination, but we'd like to uh, add a, another E to that, and that is engagement. Uh, this afternoon, you uh, are going to Twitter about whatever you hear or ideas worth spreading, and uh, you provide us with inspiration or technical lyrics, and we make it together. And we think uh, it's that kind of engagement that enhances, another E word, uh, the other three elements, education, entertainment, empowerment. So it all gets together on that spot. Yes, uh, so I think it's time to be uh, impolite, but there's uh, one more thing. Um, for those who prefer uh, to write a digital tweet, uh, not to write digital tweets. Um, we invented, and it's pretty cool, uh, something, um, uh, a, a new kind of method. method. Um, for that you need a little um, yellow sheets of paper, uh, a little bit sticky, and uh, some old school uh, input device. And you write the, uh, the tweets, uh, and you want to post the tweets, 
you can uh, stick it on a um, shiny plastic uh, oh, in the light, in the light. Oh, shape, uh, we, we call it the hash hashtag, and uh, you can send uh, the tweet. Um, you can uh, reply, you can retweet, or you can even send a direct message, just write a message and uh, send it oh. to someone in the audience uh, who follows you. So don't, don't, don't mention it. Okay. Um, um, so it's now a time to, uh, to get uh, impolite. And we hope you do uh, share the thoughts uh, that are worth spreading uh, today. And uh, we, are are curious, uh, we, we are curious uh, what tweets end up in the song we perform later on. Thank you very much. Half past three. <laughs> Hey, what's going on?